before I go into my personal 2015 goals, I just kind of want to go go over a couple things that you can expect for Health Net Nutrition in this year, or things that I hope you can expect. I never want to say 100% because I am very busy with my full-time job too. I try to spend as much time and effort into this channel and just my business of Health Net Nutrition in general, but at the same time too, things come up, family things happen, and you just never know. So. What I hope to um, come in 2015 is a new shop, which will be on my blog, healthnutrition.ca, and that should be coming out in February if everything works out well. And that is going to be a go-to spot to see everything that I mentioned in my video, so you're not having to like check all the links in the description box down below, and you can just see everything in one spot. So I'm excited to be implementing that in February, and I'll have some special discounts for you guys as well. So. Yeah, just I thought that'd be a great hub for you guys to go, go to to see everything that I recommend and use on a daily basis. So I just thought that would be really cool too. And then the next couple things is I'm going to be starting a product review series on my channel. A lot of people ask what products do I like using and if I would recommend them or I get sent a lot of different products. So I mean, I, I want to share them with you guys, like the my thoughts on them and if I think you should buy them and just which ones are my favorite. So I'm going to be doing a product review. I will talk more about it in the first video when I do it. Um, it should be coming out soon. The first, I won't say what the first one is going to be about, but I'm going to be uh, just talking about different skincare and those kind of products to start off with. So that is going to be exciting because I kind of have a fun, interactive um, way that I'm going to implement it. If, yeah, if that makes sense. So it's still in the thought process. So the other thing that is going to be coming out soon, hopefully in the next couple months, is my Superfoods Guide ebook. So it's pretty much going to be a health nuts guide to superfoods. This is going to be a free ebook for you guys. Just an incentive to visit my my blog and sign up for my newsletter, which I know I've kind of put a hold on recently, but that's going to be coming back into play. And so you know I will have a spot on my blog so you can sign up for that as well. And just my blog in general is something that has always been put in the back burner um, because I've spent a lot of time on my YouTube channel. So I want to really spend more time on my blog, make sure that all my videos from YouTube, like my recipe videos, are on the blog as well. So you can see uh, more photos and just and you can just see a description or like a description of um, how to make it and also the ingredients list as well. So because sometimes people like to just read off how to make things like the instructions and not necessarily hear it from a video. So you'll have both of those options. And it'll just be, like I said, I'm going to be doing the shop there as well and just some other fun resources on my blog. So you can look out for that. And then also too, I'm going to be like doing a refresh of just the overall design. It's still going to, I'm keeping the same branding and stuff, but you're just going to see a more clean, cleaned up Health Net Nutrition blog. So stay tuned for that. I'm really excited. And um, that is one of my 2015 goals for Health Net Nutrition. So Fingers crossed, everything works well, and I'm able to do that all. And then I have some other things too, but those are things that are going to be happening in the next few months. And then, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to touch base on that. Okay, so let's get on to my personal goals for 2015. Now, if you watched my um, my favorites video, I believe, oh, it was my December favorites video. I will link that down below. Um, you will see that I had in the description box some of my kind of resolutions, uh, goals for the new year. And I just kind of threw them on there, but I don't even know if a lot of people saw them or maybe you want, to, want me to go more de detail about them. So I just want to quickly, you know, touch base on each bullet point that I put in the description box and just go over them. And I just want to hear what your goals are for the new year as well, because I know in the beginning of the year, you're like bombarded with all of these like New Year's resolution videos and stuff. And sometimes I, I, I said this in my December favorites video, like, I am just not prepared. I feel like I'm a latecomer to the whole New Year's resolutions. Like I'm busy with holidays and family and for me, I don't know, I, I think like more the end of January, I'm like, oh, this is what I want to do, <laughs> you know? So let's, I just want to go over the list that I put down in the description box of that video so you can get a little bit more detail into what I had in mind when I when I was thinking about them. Okay, so my goal number one was to be more active and not, I'm pretty active at the moment, but just 
move my body at least three times a week. So what I've been doing, I pretty much implemented this in the month of December, is I'm going to yoga three times a week and I go to an actual yoga studio three times a week. The classes are a little bit harder than when I was doing them at just a local rec center and the yoga classes there were a little bit more generic. At the yoga studio, I'm challenging myself more. The classes are anywhere from an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half. I wanna also be doing new things like swimming, uh, weight training because I used to do so much weight training and I just kind of have stopped so and that just makes me feel so strong and just makes me feel really really good so I want to do more weights swimming and um, running running is a big thing I had more time this morning I woke up early I drank a big glass of water and before I did anything else before bre breakfast before anything I just went out for a run by myself and I bundled up very well because it's, it was chilly this morning but I just put on one of my favorite podcasts and I just ran and it was so therapeutic. I felt so good when I came back. I felt like I earned my breakfast. I made myself a green juice and just some like eggs and toast and I had a really hearty breakfast which is one of my favorite things to do on the weekend because breakfast is just my favorite meal of the day. So anyways, I've been doing more different type of types of exercises and not just yoga because I feel like it's important to switch it up. Goal number two was to limit my sugar intake. Now what I've been doing in the month of January is limiting pretty much all all sugar like even natural sugar and the only thing I've been still eating is fruit so fruit for me is you know is as natural as it can get like it's in I mean it's still in the fruit itself you're not extracting the sugar and then adding it to something else you're like eating the actual source of the fruits or of the sugar so that for me is okay because fruit also has fiber and it's just gonna help the the digestion of the sugar not like raise your blood sugar and things like that so for me I well I've even been cutting down on the fruit though I've been doing maybe two to three servings of fruit instead of eating like a whole papaya for breakfast for me anyways like I'm very sensitive to sugar and caffeine and um, and I can talk about that in my diet uh, video if you guys like but um, so that's something I've been trying to do and so the sugars I've been limiting is even you know coconut sugar maple syrup honey um, brown rice syrup uh, any natural sweeteners that you think like I feel like once you go you start eating healthy or like oh all these sugars are just so healthy for me I can eat them all the time maple syrup has like 50 grams of sugar per serving that's really high so it, and it's still a processed food like there it maple syrup is heated and highly processed before it gets into those bottles and called pure maple syrup so just be aware of what you're eating and that just because it's a natural sugar um, like honey or anything like that or coconut sugar that it's still somewhat processed um, like I mean you can get raw honey but it's still pretty high in sugar so just be mindful of that and that um, you can you can easily consume too much of it because it's really easy to put over over sugar your foods so that is something I'm trying to be more mindful of and it's been working out great um, my sugar cravings have really decreased because I don't know if you know but like I'm a huge dessert person so I think I'm gonna be doing some recipe videos um, low sugar dessert options and things like that that still taste really good so yeah you may be seeing more of a low sugar trend in the new year um, but you can always up the sugar if you want so that's always an option so yeah that's number two goal number three is to just de-stress meditate stretch do whatever it is that is going to help you de-stress i really found even last year doing zumba classes was really fun because i didn't have to think about it it was just like a fun way to dance and move your body that was really de-stressing but this year i've really been trying to meditate and meditate for at only, if only like if it's only five minutes that's totally fine but just you know sit down like calm my mind and just give my body you know that those five minutes to just you know de-stress and let go of any tension that is causing anxiety or making you not feel so well so that has been really important so the yoga classes I do three times a week um, they normally do the meditation at the end and in the beginning and that's why they're an hour to f hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half because they add that aspect into it so that has been amazing and I've noticed such a difference in my way to handle stress and if you're like a really hyperactive person and you are always on the go and really busy you need to sit down and meditate it's gonna change your life goal number four practice patience I wish I could say I was the most calm and patient person in the world but I'm not as much as I would like to be it is something I struggle with I'm always someone who's on time and I'm not a perfectionist but at the same time too I 
I like to, you know, if I have something to do, it's like, let's, okay, let's go, let's do it, you know? If I have the day off, I want to get up early, I want to get going, and sometimes that can be a negative thing because if somebody else is, you know, more mellow or is taking a long time to get ready and I want to go do stuff, I find it really hard to just relax and be like, okay, practice some patience, or if you're in a really long lineup and, you know, you need to be somewhere and you're like, why is this line, why am I in the slowest line of life, you know? But I've just gone to just really practice, you know, if I'm in a busy lineup or I'm stuck in traffic, just, you know, relax and be like, there's nothing I can do right now. Why don't I just think about something else instead of thinking about, oh my God, I've been in this line for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Like, if, if I need to be in that line, then just accept that, you know? So I've just been trying to be more patient with people, with situations. Um, with my to-do list, with food. I'm a pretty slow eater anyways, but I find if I'm making food and I'm kind of in a rush or something, I slow it down. So it's all about that whole being in the moment, slowing things down, and just being present. So that has been something I've really been trying to do in the new year. So Goal number five, stay organized. As much as I also would like to say I am, you know, so organized and efficient all the time, sometimes my to-do list just get just overwhelm me and I don't know where to begin. So I think it's so important to stay organized however you do it, if you are a list person, if you like audio notes, whatever it is. And what I'm really trying to use more often, I mentioned this uh, last year in one of my favorites video, is my Erin Condren planner. I've been using this more this year, planning out my week, my month, my day, and just putting all my appointments, my to-do list, things I want to film, whatever, in here. And it's been really helpful. I can do maybe an organization video if you like on this planner. I will have a link down below for, I think I, it's a $10 coupon um, to get anything from Aaron, the Erin Condren site down below. Um, I just love these planners. They're really cute. I love the turquoise design on this one. And I got the 15 month one, so this is going to last me all of this year as well. So that has been awesome. And then another way I've been trying to stay organized is by setting up either like bi-weekly or monthly meetings with my aunt, which I consider kind of like my YouTube manager. I always like go to her for advice and questions and things like that. And we're learning together on how YouTube works sometimes, but it's she's just a really great person to get support from. And she actually gave me this little, I think it's a Martha Stewart notebook, binder, I mean. And she actually, uh, she brought this to our meeting, that our first meeting this year, which was on Wednesday the other day. And I'm obsessed with turquoise, so I was like, I love that binder. She's like, oh, I bought two. You can have this one. So I made a joke later and said I really liked her scarf because I thought she would give it to me, but that didn't work. <laughs> I have just a couple of business cards in here. These are just like little business card holders and then a little notebook. So I haven't um, actually started writing anything in this, but this is going to be my go-to binder for our bi-weekly meetings. And then normally this is something I've always done, like this book that I have my notes in right now. I always, I have this one and another, I have a striped one that I also got from Chapters. And I always have these notebooks for writing down recipes, video ideas, my fa monthly favorites, all of that go in notebooks. I become, I've become to be a very list person. Those are just things that I'm trying to do to stay organized. Number six, which is my last goal. I know this video is probably going on forever. I don't even know how long it is right now, but I mean, yeah. Thank you if you're, you're still sticking through. So my sixth goal is to prep my, my food and meals in the beginning of the week, preferably on a Sunday. So just maybe make one thing that's gonna be a go-to snack, whether it's homemade granola bars, homemade granola, energy muffins, whatever it is, something that, like a baked good or something that you can have throughout the week, or even chia pudding that you can have for breakfast, whatever it is, you know, create something for the week. And then also pre-cook some foods that you can have throughout the week as well, whether it's like a big batch of quinoa, um, a big salad, or like cutting up all your greens and stuff, and then all you have to do is add your dressing for that day. Um, cooking your proteins if you're having, you know, salmon or chicken or whatever it is, pre-cooking that and just planning out your dinners as well. I sometimes go without a list to the grocery store and I feel like I I buy a lot of random things that, I mean, I end up eating it all, but it's not always the easiest to put together in meals. Like sometimes I have a plan, but it's always in my head. It's not written down, which I don't think is the best way to go about it. So I, this year I'm trying to make a list of what I need 
and think about what meals I'm gonna have throughout the week. Even though I live with my family, I'm normally the one that plans the dinners and things like that, so I just enjoy doing it. Um, but normally I plan the day of and just like kind of figure out what we have in the kitchen. So, but now I'm trying to think, you know, it's Tuesday homemade pizza night where I make, you know, spelt crust and make a really easy um, pizza. It takes me like 15 minutes. I should share that recipe. And, uh, you know, is Monday night brown, brown rice pasta night or things like that, lasagna night, whatever. Planning it out on the Sunday I think is really beneficial to just set you up for eating healthy for the rest of the week and that way too you're not wasting the food that you have so you're only buying what you're going to eat in that week so i know that was so much thank you for staying to the end if you did so if you like these types of videos let me know in the comment section down below and also too i wanted to say if you guys want me to do like a q a video so i can actually take your questions leave me your questions down below in this video so that way i can you know kind of get an idea of what kind of questions that you guys have and then when i am going to do one i will tweet it out or post a picture on Instagram that I'm collecting more questions but I, I will collect questions from this video as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and maybe you know a little bit more about me and I don't know any more about you guys so hopefully I will by just interacting with you guys on social media and things like that and you know if you have fun snippets of information of your life I am always willing to like I just love hearing more about you guys so feel free to share and if you guys liked this video please give it a big thumbs up guys it helps me out so much it helps my videos get seen by more people and just helps my channel really grow as a whole so it's really appreciated if you guys hit that like button and subscribe of course if you aren't subs subscribed subscribe hit that button i will link it up here somewhere and i hope you guys are having a fabulous day wherever you are in the world and i will see you guys in the next video bye good at cleaning up afterwards Rich, blah, blah. okay let's see um, the other thing is I'm going to be I just lost my train of thought that happens sometimes um oh right okay